These bubbles in the Baltic Sea flared up after explosions on the Nord Stream gas pipelines in September 2022. The incident prompted several international investigations. Western officials initially accused Russia of sabotage, but Moscow denied this. Now, more details of the probes are starting to emerge. The German prosecutor announced that they had searched a rental yacht that was possibly linked to the attack on the pipelines. They also said a pro-Ukrainian group may have been responsible, but Ukrainian officials denied any involvement. So here's what we know so far about the explosions that hit some of Europe's most important pipelines. The Nord Stream and Nord Stream 2 pipelines were built to transfer gas from Russia to Europe. But Russian gas giant Gazprom stopped deliveries through Nord Stream in August 2022, saying the pipes needed repairs. Nord Stream 2 was built but wasn't up and running yet because Germany stopped its certification just before Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Then, in September 2022, the pipelines were damaged in explosions. Germany, Sweden and Denmark, the three countries closest to the incident, launched separate investigations into the cause. Early findings said the blasts were deliberate and caused leaks in four places. And the investigations looked at the possibility of Russia as the instigator. Moscow has repeatedly denied any involvement. In early March, German prosecutors said that two months earlier, Investigators searched a yacht and found traces of explosives on board. We managed to locate it in the north of Germany. It's a very beautiful, white, sleek leisure boat that has five cabins and, and can comfortably sleep 11 people. Investigators believe the vessel set sail from a port in northern Germany on September 6. Around September the 7th, they made a pit stop in Beek on the island of Rügen, also in northern Germany. There, I think, part of the crew uh, came on board and they loaded uh, the, the boat with food and, and other provisions. And then from then, uh, there's a bit of a gap and then the boat re-emerges on the 16th of September on the Danish island of Kristansø which is close to the area where the Nord Stream pipelines were attacked. German officials said a group of people rented the boat. Some of them presented Ukrainian passports that may have been forged. Und wir müssen ja deutlich unterscheiden, ob es eine ukrainische Gruppe war, also im ukrainischen Auftrag gewesen sein könnte oder eine pro-ukrainische ohne Wissen der Regierung. What we don't know however is who these people were. Um, what is exactly their relationship to Ukraine, if they were Ukrainians, and whether or not they have any relationship to the Ukrainian government or any kind of formal authority. Ukrainian officials denied any involvement. That's totally against our own interest. Russia's president had accused what he called Anglo-Saxon powers of blowing up the pipelines. And the Kremlin said Western nations rejected its request to join their investigations. One thing that we know for for a fact that these investigators do not believe anymore that Russia was behind this. German investigators are also looking at whether the boat was part of a larger mission or a false flag operation designed to divert attention from the real culprits. We'll see where this leads, but at the present time, it doesn't seem we have more clarity. It seems we have even more layers of obscurity and mystery adding to this kind of a huge puzzle. The leaks highlighted concerns about the safety of critical energy infrastructure in Europe. It demonstrates uh, the importance of uh, protecting our critical undersea infrastructure. As for the damaged pipes, there's no indication that they'll be repaired anytime soon. <laughs>